uh, it will give us a good idea about uh, life in ancient Egypt. Uh, that they were mainly farmers, so they were inventing lots of tools uh, to help them farming the land uh, and also fishing the Nile, which was a big issue. So you can see like some ropes here and some of the farming tools over there. And by the way, when we talk about the irrigation, the Nile has been the main source of water since the beginning of the Egyptian civilization until now. one of the tools which is known as the Shadoof. Uh, they've been using the Shadoof until uh, the Romans introduced the waterways. So here you can see some beautiful paintings from the tomb. And this is like description of heaven, uh, how they were expecting the afterlife or uh, the second life. So it is shown as what we call the Iyaru, uh, the name of heaven in the ancient language. And it has lots of different kinds of trees and fruits, flowers, and in the middle, like a swimming pool uh, or like a small uh, pool full of water with, with fish and geese and, and ducks and, and other plants as well, like the lotus and papayas. Uh, here we have a beautiful hunting scene uh, showing uh, the nobleman and account, uh, accompanied by his wife. Uh, if you look at the, 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 the wife next to him, she's wearing a wig, but she has like a little con on the top of her head. And that used to be full of uh, perfume oils. So when they, they make like physical efforts, moving, dancing, whatever, uh, then the, the, that perfume oil is melting down and covering their bodies like deodorants. And you can see uh, he, he, their daughter uh, sitting just uh, under legs and touching his leg uh, very gently uh, with the side look of the hair which is one of the symptoms of ch childhood in ancient Egypt. Another hunting scene, some of the uh, servants or the assistants of uh, Nebamun uh, uh, holding some animals like rabbits, wild rabbits. And uh, this is my collection of the offerings. Uh, it should be here, like the bottom of the scene on the right hand side. You can see the legs, uh, either of the, the, the Nebamun or his wife. Uh, I would guess Nebamun himself. And uh, we see the number of the offerings here on the offering table should be uh, in the tomb to be used in the afterlife as well. Uh, here we have like actually two or three scenes showing mostly ladies and uh, festivals and uh, celebration. Um, uh, what was common in, in ancient Egypt, especially for the noblemen, when they, they uh, build the tombs and decorate them, they show that as if they are inviting their friends and their relatives to the afterlife. So it's like kind of a wedding or uh, a reception. And here you can see on the top of the scene, like couples coming, uh, uh, sitting and attending that festival or that dinner. And uh, some, will, some of them will be holding flowers, like at the bottom here. And uh, we see some of the dancers and some of the singers and musicians. All the ladies here, they have like little cones on top of their heads so working as deodorants because they were expecting to be dancing and getting hot and, and uh, uh, sweating as well. So this is very nice as a deodorant. Here we can see uh, Neba Moon sitting on his uh, chair and uh, receiving the offerings from his people and you can see them here kneeling like uh, showing their, uh, their respect and some of them are uh, looking after animals, cows and buffaloes that was part of his wealth as well so it was to guarantee that he will have the same thing if not even more in the afterlife that was very important to be shown in, in the noble tomb not like in the kings or the queens because the kings and queens they know that they will come back as kings and queens so they, they decorated the tombs mainly with figures from the Book of the Dead or the Book of Amidwat, which more or less like uh, religious text, not, not like the noblemen. The noblemen want to have like a certificate or a guarantee that this is what we had in the first life, so we want to have the same thing or not even more in the afterlife.